Dear people of God, good morning. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. We rejoice that we are able to continue to hear God's word and gather around it together in this way. And I pray that this worship would encourage you today in the good news of what Jesus Christ has done for you. Uh, you may notice that things look a little different today up front and then the color that I'm wearing as well. We have read out today as we observe Pentecost Sunday, remembering how Jesus kept his promise to those disciples and sent them the gift of the Holy Spirit. The same Holy Spirit that he has poured out into your heart and into your life through the gift of baptism that he's given to you as you've been born again through water and the Spirit. As we worship today, uh, we are not observing the Lord's Supper in our 9 a.m. worship at in the sanctuary today, and so we won't have to make any adjustments as we go through the bulletin. If you have that before you this morning, we can just go through that right beginning to end. And I would just extend again an invitation to you that if you haven't been able to join us for worship again and receive the Lord's Supper, if you're really missing that, uh, I'd love to make that available to you in some way, even if it's just meeting you outside and bringing that to your vehicle for you. Uh, just get in touch with me and, and let's set up a time to do that. For now, we continue to be encouraged and nourished with God's word today. I'll go and reverence the altar and we'll begin with that opening hymn. Come, Holy Ghost, God and Lord, with all your graces now outpoured on each believer's mind and heart. Your fervent love to them impart. Lord, by the brightness of your light, in holy faith your church unite from every land and every tongue this to your praise o lord our god be sung alleluia alleluia come holy light Guide divine, now cause the word of life to shine. Teach us to know our God aright, and call him Father with delight. From every error keep us free. Let none but Christ our Master be, that we in living faith abide. In him our Lord with all our might confide. Alleluia, alleluia. Come, holy fire, Comfort true, grant us the will your work to do, and in your service to abide. Let trials turn us not aside. Lord, by your power prepare each heart, and to our weakness strength impart, that bravely here we may contend, through life and death to you our Lord ascend. Alleluia, alleluia. In the name of the Father and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Jesus said, If anyone thirsts, let him come to me and drink. Whoever believes in me, as the scripture has said, out of his heart will flow rivers of living water. Because of sin, we thirst for this living water. 
Let us therefore confess our sins unto God our Father. Most merciful God, we confess that we are by nature sinful and unclean. We have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed, by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We justly deserve your present and eternal punishment. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us. Forgive us, renew us, and lead us, so that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your holy name. Amen. Almighty God, in his mercy, has given his only Son, Jesus Christ, to die for you, and for his sake, he forgives you all of your sins. Therefore, as a called and ordained servant of Christ and by his authority, I forgive you all of your sins. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Come, Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of the faithful, and kindle in them the fire of your love. Alleluia. O Lord, how manifold are your works. In wisdom have you made them all. The earth is full of your creatures. These all look to you to give them their food in due season. When you give it to them, they gather it up. When you open your hand, they are filled with good things. When you send forth your spirit, they are created, and you renew the face of the ground. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Come, Holy Spirit. Fill the hearts of the faithful and kindle in them the fire of your love. Alleluia. From a place of peace, we pray for mercy. Lord, have mercy. Upon us, our loved ones, and all who are far from God, Lord, have mercy. Upon the preaching of the cross of Christ to every nation, Lord, have mercy. Upon all the life you create and sustain, redeem and make new, Lord, have mercy. Help, save, and deliver all who cry to you for help, good Lord. Amen. We join together in our next hymn, our hymn of praise, Holy Spirit Ever Dwelling. Holy Spirit Ever Dwelling in the holiest realms of light. Holy Spirit ever brooding o'er a world of gloom and night. Holy Spirit ever raising those of earth to thrones on high. Living life imparting spirit, you we praise and magnify. Holy Spirit, ever living as the church's very life. Holy Spirit, ever striving through us in a ceaseless strife. Holy Spirit, ever forming in the church the mind of Christ. You we praise with endless worship for your gifts and fruits unprized. Holy Spirit, ever working through the church's ministry, quickening, strengthening, and absolving, setting captive sinners free. Holy Spirit, ever binding, age to age and soul to soul, in communion never ending, you we worship and extol. The Lord be with you, and graciously receive your and also with you. And let us pray. O God, on this day, you once taught the hearts of your faithful people by sending them the light of your Holy Spirit. Grant us in our day by the same Spirit to have a right understanding in all things and evermore to rejoice in his holy consolation. 
through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Our Old Testament reading on this Pentecost Sunday comes from the book of Numbers, chapter 11. So Moses went out and told the people the words of the Lord. And he gathered 70 men of the elders of the people and placed them around the tent. Then the Lord came down in the cloud and spoke to him and took some of the spirit that was on him and put it on the 70 elders. And as soon as the spirit rested on them, they prophesied, but they did not continue doing it. Now two men remained in the camp, one named Eldad and the other named Medad, and the spirit rested on them. They were among those registered, but they had not gone out to the tent. And so they prophesied in the camp. And a young man ran and told Moses, Eldad and Medad are prophesying in the camp. And Joshua, the son of Nun, the assistant of Moses from his youth, said, My Lord, Moses, stop them. But Moses said to him, Are you jealous for my sake? Would that all the Lord's people were prophets that the Lord would put his spirit on them. And Moses and the elders of Israel returned to the camp. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. We join together in our gradual. I will pour out my spirit on all flesh, and your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. With the heart one believes and is justified, and with the mouth one confesses and is saved. Our second reading today comes from Acts chapter 2 and gives us part of the account of that first Pentecost. When the day of Pentecost arrived, they were all together in one place. And suddenly there came from heaven a sound like a mighty rushing wind, and it filled the entire house where they were sitting. And divided tongues as a fire appeared to them and rested on each one of them. And they were all filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak in other tongues as the Spirit gave them utterance. Now there were dwelling in Jerusalem Jews, devout men from every nation under heaven. And at this sound the multitude came together, and they were bewildered, because each one was hearing them speak in his own language. And they were amazed and astonished, saying, Are not all these who are speaking Galileans? And how is it that we hear each of us in his own native language? Parthians and Medes and Elamites and residents of Mesopotamia, Judea and Cappadocia, Pontus and Asia, Phrygia and Pamphylia, Egypt and parts of Libya belonging to Cyrene, and visitors from Rome, both Jews and proselytes, Cretans and Arabians. We hear them telling in our own tongues the mighty works of God. And all were amazed and perplexed, saying to one another, What does this mean? But others, mocking, said, They are filled with new wine. But Peter, standing with the eleven, lifted up his voice and addressed them, Men of Judea and all who dwell in Jerusalem, let this be known to you, and give ear to my words. For these men are not drunk, as you suppose, since it is only the third hour of the day. But this is what was uttered through the prophet Joel. And in the last days it shall be, God declares, that I will pour out my spirit on all flesh. And your sons and your daughters shall prophesy, and your young men shall see visions, and your old men shall dream dreams. Even on my male servants and female servants, in those days I will pour out my spirit, and they shall prophesy. And I will show wonders in the heavens above and signs on the earth below, blood and fire and vapor of smoke. The sun shall be turned to darkness and the moon to blood before the day of the Lord comes, the great and magnificent day. And it shall come to pass that everyone who calls upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. As has been the case in the past couple weeks, there is a children's message available on YouTube, but we continue our worship now with the Alleluia in verse. Alleluia, come Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of the faithful, and kindle in them the fire of your love. 
Alleluia. The Holy Gospel according to St. John, the seventh chapter. Glory to you, O Lord. On the last day of the feast, the great day, Jesus stood up and cried out, If anyone thirsts, let him come to me and drink. Whoever believes in me, as the scripture has said, out of his heart will flow rivers of living water. Now this he said about the Spirit, whom those who believed in him were to receive. For as yet the Spirit had not been given, because Jesus was not yet glorified. This is the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. We join in our sermon hymn, Holy Spirit, Light Divine. Holy Spirit, light divine, shine upon this heart of mine. Chase the shades of night away, turn the darkness into day. Let me see my Savior's face, let me all his beauties trace. Show those glorious truths to me, which are only known to thee. Holy Spirit, power divine, cleanse this guilty heart of mine. In thy mercy pity me, from sin's bondage set me free. Holy Spirit, joy divine, cheer this saddened heart of mine. Yield a sacred settled peace, let it grow and still increase. Holy Spirit, all divine, dwell within this heart of mine. Cast down every idol throne, reign supreme and reign alone. At this point in our worship service, we would have the sermon that focuses on the gospel lesson for today from John chapter 7. Jesus teaching about living water. You may go ahead and pause the service now and view that sermon, or you're welcome to continue the service, the worship service, as we join now in the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sits at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Christian Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. At this point in the worship service, we would collect our offering, and I encourage you to see the note that is there to either place your gift in the place available at church or to set aside a time this week to mail in your gift. We continue our worship today with the prayer of the church. Let us pray together for the whole people of God in Christ Jesus and for all people according to their needs. Gracious Heavenly Father, through your Son, Jesus Christ, you have poured living water into our hearts, gifting us with your very own Holy Spirit and claiming us as your children. As your dear children, we come to you with all of our requests, as dear children ask their dear Father. So we give you thanks that you have allowed us to return to worship and pray your continued blessings and safekeeping upon those who gather in our sanctuary. We ask also that you be with those who are unable to join us for worship at this time, that you would continue to encourage and nourish them with your word and abide with them in their homes. We pray for those who have fallen away or wandered away from the faith, that you would draw them back to you through repentance and through the gospel of forgiveness of sins. 
And we also ask that you would be with those who don't yet know your son Jesus as Savior, that you would speak your word into their hearts, work faith in them through your same Holy Spirit, and bring them into your family as well. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord Jesus, you promise that the gates of hell shall not prevail against your church. And so we ask you to be with all who are persecuted for their faith in you, whether near or far. Sustain them in their faith, grant them safekeeping, and hold before them ever the crown of eternal life. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord Jesus, we thank you that you came to earth to bring living water to, we, to us who are thirsty. And we thank you for those who take that same living water, the good news of your saving work, to places where we ourselves cannot go. We give you thanks for the Grolke family in Botswana, Carl and Kelsey, Mary, Jane, Audrey, Judah, Gideon, and Isaac. And we especially pray for their safekeeping as they travel home. We thank you for Hannah serving in Taiwan. We thank you for the Trink Line serving in South Korea, Hans, Gretchen, Jael, Abigail, Michael, and John. Provide for all of these, Lord, their needs of body and soul, and grant them joyful and fruitful labor for your kingdom. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord, your harvest is plentiful, but your laborers are few. And so we ask you to raise up workers for your harvest field, especially providing pastors and teachers to share your word with your people. We give you thanks for Jonathan and Daniel and those who study at the seminaries, praying your blessings upon their preparations to become pastors. We thank you for our sister congregations in the LCMS and pray that you would bless them as they begin gathering together again. We thank you for all church workers and their families and pray that you would grant them joyful and fruitful labor for your kingdom, even as you supply for all of their needs. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Gracious Father, creator and sustainer of life, we give you thanks for that gift of life, and especially we celebrate with Luann a birthday. We pray your continued blessings upon her of good health and sustaining faith. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord Jesus, Prince of Peace, we ask you to bring an end to hatred and disunity in our hearts and in our communities, fueled by racism, political division, and wrongful understanding of your word. Call us to repentance and bring forgiveness and healing through your cross. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Gracious Heavenly Father, Lord of wind and wave, we ask you to be with those who have suffered from natural disasters and tragedy. Be with all in Michigan who have been impacted by flooding and the breaking of dams there. And be with all humans worldwide, all people, during this time of the coronavirus pandemic. Grant safekeeping, grant healing, grant faithful and trustworthy leadership, and please grant the tender and compassionate hand of medical professionals. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Great Physician, we ask you to be with all who battle cancer, especially Leroy, Mary, Jerry, Lucy, Melinda, Chuck, Dot, Destiny, and Aaron. Be with all of these as well as family and caregivers throughout their treatments and restore them to health. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And finally, dear Jesus, as you bear with us our burdens, Please be with all of those who struggle with ongoing health issues, especially Larry and Shirley, Gail, Paul, Jerry, Jim, Mike and Donna, Sally, Hugh, Kevin, Elsie, Jerry and Sherry, Mary, Arnold, Janet, Lisa, Jamie, Sylvia, Darlene, Fred and Virginia, and Dorothy. Be with all of these in their time of need and restore them to health. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Trusting in your promises, Lord, we are bold to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. 
For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Go in peace and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Go forth this day with the Lord's blessing. May the Lord bless and keep you. May he make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you and give you his peace. The almighty and merciful God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, bless and preserve you. Amen. We join together in that closing hymn, Glory Be to God the Father. Glory be to God the Father, glory be to God the Son, glory be to God the Spirit, great Jehovah, three in one. Glory, glory, while eternal ages run. Glory be to him who loved us, washed us from each spot and stain. Glory be to him who bought us, made us kings with him to reign. Glory, glory to the Lamb that once was slain. Glory to the King of angels, glory to the church's King. Glory to the King of nations, heaven and earth your praises bring. Glory, glory to the King of glory, sing. Glory, blessing, praise eternal, thus the choir of angels sings. Honor, riches, power, dominion, thus its praise creation brings. Glory, glory, glory to the King of kings.